The Montreal General Hospital uh, Center for Innovative Therapeutics in Chest and Esophagastric Cancers was developed in the past five years. Uh, we recognized that there was a certain need uh, in patients that was missing. Uh, lung cancer is a leading cause of cancer-related death worldwide, and that's particularly so uh, here in Quebec. In addition, esophageal and stomach cancers are the fastest rising malignancies in North America. Traditionally, these two malignancies have been associated with a very poor prognosis, hovering around 10 to 20 percent at a five-year survival rate. However, we've made incredible advances over the past five years, and many of those advances have originated here at the Montreal General Hospital. But in fact, when you start to look at the new data that's coming out, what we've been able to achieve as a, as a society in the last 15 to 20 years, things are looking much better. And I would say right now for patients with lung cancer, it's one of the most hopeful times to be alive. We're moving away from the way we used to treat patients with cancer in the past. So it used to be that anyone with a cancer comes in and they get surgery, and if they can, they get chemotherapy. And everyone gets the same chemotherapy. Some patients do very well, and unfortunately most don't. So here we're trying to look at a different approach. We're trying to tailor our treatment to one person. And that is the whole purpose of this laboratory. So we take patient samples, tissue samples, blood samples, things that we can get from the operating room, and we bring those tissues here and we can test drugs in those patients. We can tell them if we think that'll work before we ever subject them to the risks of any therapy. When you get a cancer diagnosis, it gets your attention. And it uh, changed our whole life from that moment on. Initial symptoms are somewhat benign. It was an easy symptom to ignore. I had some difficulty swallowing, but not regularly, I wouldn't say. And then, uh, based on a gastroscopy, uh, we discovered that there was a, uh, a malignant tumor. It told me right then and there. A good friend of mine, I said, well, there's only one person that you should be talking to, and that's Dr. Ferry. Once he took charge, uh, it, the, the, the fear really moved out of it because you could sense right away a level of competency and a team that enters into the picture that, that takes over. But until that occurred, it was one of the scariest uh, moments of my life. I sort of believe that there are people are put on this earth for a reason. And with everybody in this team, you felt that they had a dedication. They were, this is what they were made to do. There was never uh, any moment in time that I was alone. It was uh, my wife and my children and I that were the, the backup team on my side that helped so much. Because I think in any case like that, your wife and your partner are in effect having the same sickness, they just don't have the symptoms. So you are in every way going through this together. Here at the Weitzer Vatch Lab, um, everything we do has been made possible by a generous donation from the family. Um, and I think it's extremely important to get that across. We cannot do what we're doing without the support of uh, the philanthropic community and the community at large. With your help, we hope to be able to provide new treatments for the improvement of care, not only in Quebecers, but also Canadians at large. Remember, we're still here because you're here. We're still here because you're here. Thank you.